welcome back to my channel so this time we have a clean canvas um so i'm just gonna do some of the nail art designs that some people have requested um on my instagram so um if you haven't already watched the videos i've done a video on how to shape your nails how to apply your acrylic to have a nice apex how to reshape and file the nails and then next the last thing we're gonna do is just doing a couple of nail art um, designs so um, i'm gonna be doing an ombre nail with the regular nail polish and a gel top coat i know someone asked for that i'm gonna be doing uh two marble nails a french tip and also i'm gonna show you how i apply my blank so when i'm applying my rhinestones i use my um what is this this is the color harp on it by color club and this one is a regular nail polish so with this one i only apply one coat and then just let it air dry so i'm gonna do that on my pinky just like that again just doing one coat of this and i always use this one when i'm applying a full nail of bling um, you can find this one on Amazon. I know I used to get it from my local nail supply store, but they stopped selling it. So I just buy it from Amazon and I think it's like 10 or $11, but it lasts me a really long time. Again, that is Harp On It by Color Club. So next, I think for my ring finger, I might be doing just a plain white and black traditional marble nail. So I'm going to go in with the color Perfect White by Madam Glam. As you guys know, I do have a promo code for them. So I'll be sure to leave that down below. So we're going to go ahead and do one coat of that and then cure for 30 seconds. And then afterwards, we're going to come back and do a second coat. Sorry, and I'm not trying to be this messy, but I just my hand was shaking when I did the first stroke. But um, yeah, so as always, you guys know that I love my Madame Glam gel polishes. They just go on so good. The coverage is also flawless. You can definitely get away with just doing one coat, but as always, I like to go in and always do two coats of every color. And then of course, if you get any polish around the skin, just go in with your cleanup brush. I'm using this cleanup brush that I got on Amazon, so I'll be sure to leave the link down below for you guys. So again, that was Perfect White by Madam Glam. Next, I'm gonna do um, the ombre nail with the different colors. And for that, first I'm gonna do the Clear Pink by DND. &D. And this one is literally just a sheared pink. But the reason why I use it is because I just need something that the polish is going to stick to. Um, so you can just do like a base coat, um, something that's really thin, but I know some people use white to make the colors just pop a lot, but you guys know that white sometimes goes on really thick and I don't want my polish to go on thick. I want something really, really thin, just good enough to where my regular polish is going to stick to it when I apply it. So next I'm going to do, let me see. Oh yeah, I'm going to do a French tip. So I'm going to go in with the color French Vanilla by d, d You guys know that I use that color a lot. So I'm going to do one coat of this first and then of course cure for 30 seconds and come back in and do a second coat. So each finger is going to be different, but I just want to do some of the, you know, things that people requested um, on my Instagram. gonna clean around my cuticle area and then for my thumb I think okay I'm gonna do a blue marble with a little bit of foil in there because I did see that someone requested that as well so for this one I'm using the color jungle beat which is a really pretty teal color and I'm just gonna apply that on the entire nail Alrighty, so we've done one coat of each color. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place them under the light and I'm using my Holly Light by Madame Glam. 
and we're just gonna cure it for 30 seconds. And again, I am gonna be using regular polish like these, what is it? These four colors. Um, this one, let's see. This one is in the color Purple Flowers by DD. I have Fuchsia Touch also by DD, um, Dutch Orange by DD, and Summer Sun by DD. Um, I'll be I'll be sure to leave a link down below. I actually get these from my local nail supply store, but there is a website where you can buy them from. Uh, so I'll again leave that down below. And the only thing with DD is that some might go on, you know, a little too thick, others a little bit too runny, but it comes with a regular nail polish and a gel color to match one I mean each one so that's why I like them and I keep them because I use my regular colors or my regular nail polishes for um, my ombre nails like I'm gonna show you here but now I'm gonna go in and just do a second coat of each color of course except for my pinky and my middle finger Alrighty, so I did the second coat. So now we're gonna go ahead and place them back under the light for another 30 seconds. Alrighty, so they are completely dry. This thumb, I did not put all the way into the light. So that's why it wrinkled up. So you wanna make sure that whenever you put your fingers or your hand under the light, that you know your thumb cures all the way um that's why that happened but i'm just gonna leave it like this it is completely dry now i make sure that i let it sit in there but it still has those wrinkles in there um sometimes when that happens you can just go in there and gently buff the wrinkles away and just do another coat and it should be good but i just wanted to go ahead and point that out because i know someone would um so now i'm gonna go ahead and do the ombre nail because i want that to be completely dry before i do my top coat so i'm gonna go in and i'm just gonna apply the colors just how they are so i always start with whatever color is gonna go around the cuticle area i start with that one first and i just place it right on the sponge and these sponges i get from dollar general they look like this and i've used different um sponges but these are the ones that work the best for me uh so again just doing the color first then going in with the pink and you can use whatever colors you want for this look but these are just the first ones that i picked up yellow and then and then i might just go ahead and throw in this green at the very tip should i yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just throw this green in here okay just like that once you have your colors on the sponge we're just gonna dab them on the nail starting closer to the cuticle area and just dabbing it on the nail really gently just like that and don't worry about getting the color on your skin because you can go in and clean it off so as you can see really nice and the color just went on uh, really good they just kind of blend into each other and then we're gonna go in and do another coat we just want to let it air dry for just a second and then we can go in and do a second coat usually i go in and do all the fingers and then once i finish that last one i go in and do another coat um remember that when you are doing regular nail polish with a gel top coat you want to make sure that the colors are 100 percent dry before you apply the top coat so usually that's why um i wanted to go ahead and get this one out of the way first that way by the time i come back in with the top coat it is completely dry and i just let it air dry you also want to make sure that your colors are not super thick as you can see all of my colors are pretty you know like a nice consistency not too thick um, or too thin like the perfect consistency so now that it's kind of dry we're gonna go in and do a second coat so same thing just dabbing the colors on there making sure that we get really good around the cuticle area so we don't have any blank spots 
just like that and that's pretty much it y'all so really nice and simple again all of these are regular nail polishes by dnd so now i'm gonna go in with my cleanup brush and i'm gonna clean that off right after i'm finished that way it doesn't stain my skin you could also use the little latex you know thing or whatever it's called to put around your fingers that way you can just peel it off but i prefer to just go ahead and do this i feel like it's just faster Okay, as you can see, all of the polish is completely gone from my skin. Again, I just used this cleanup brush and acetone. So now we're going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and get my thumb out of the way. So I'm going to use the Bla uh, Perfect Black Gel Polish by Madame Glam. I'm going to use my little nail polish plate. And I'm going to use this little small nail art brush, which will be back on my website once I restock. Um, but I'm going to put a little bit of black on here and I'm just going to go in with my brush and I'm just going to do some random lines on the nail with the black. And then with my cleanup brush, I dip it into my acetone, wipe it off to where it's wet, but not, you know, soaking or dripping. And I'm just going to dab those lines all over the nail. Just dab them to where we kind of create like a smoky look. And then we go in and we're gonna redefine the lines. Usually I like to do just the line across the entire nail. And as you can see, I'm kind of wiggling the brush as I go. Doing another one right there. And then we're gonna go in and dab these lines again, but except for this time, we don't want the polish to spread all over it, just like right where it's at. So make sure that you're not using too much acetone when you do this. And then lastly, we're gonna go in and redraw those lines. You can kind of like draw it right next, like literally right next to where you drew the first line. That way it kind of gives it like a shadow. Okay. Just like that, just draw, you know, a few lines here and there, just really, um, sheer lines i guess i could say and then after that since i am going to be adding a little bit of foil on there i'm going to be applying my foil gel this is actually by um nail supply glamour i used to use like the actual foil glue but it just did not work for me so i switched over to the gel and it works so good so i'm just going to go in with that same um little small nail art brush and i'm just going to go in and like do some random lines Oops. just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and let this i'm gonna go ahead and let it cure so i don't mess it up again uh, but i'm just gonna cure for 30 seconds so next i'm gonna go since i already have this black right here i'm gonna go ahead and do my black and white marble nail which is like the traditional um uh, most common um marble nail so same thing just going in and just doing some random lines on the nail and then I'm going to go in and just dab those nails with, I know some people say you can use acetone as well, but I just, I'm um, not acetone, but alcohol instead of acetone. But I always keep acetone here, of course, so it's just easier for me to use the acetone. No, if you're using gel polish, it's not going to mess up the white, you know, because you, we're not soaking the nail in acetone. We're just um, using it to dab those lines around. So now I'm going to go in and redefine those lines. And then I'm gonna go in and dab those lines again, really gently. And then I'm just gonna go in. I don't want my lines to be so like, you know, um, I don't even know what I would call it, but <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and just dab them just a tiny, tiny bit so they kind of like bleed into the nail, if that makes sense. 
and your marble nails are never going to look the same so just go in there and kind of play with them you know um dab them a little bit more if you want to or if you don't want that much black on there just go in there and you know like um dab them with the acetone a little bit more whatever you want but they're never going to look the same Okay, so I'm kind of changing it up because I didn't like how it looked. So let's see. I kind of like that. See, when you kind of just play with it, you kind of come up with different things. So just keep dabbing it until you kind of just like how it looks. I just don't want too, too much black. This one was okay. Okay, I kind of just want to leave it like that. I feel like I like how that looks. Maybe one right in the middle so it don't look so plain. Okay, just like that. I think that's good enough for me. So the next, the next one we're gonna do is the French tip. So for that one, I'm gonna use the same white, um, which is the Perfect White by Madame Glam. And then I like to do my French tips with a small uh, nail art brush. So it's the same nail art brush that I use. And you wanna make sure that you hold your finger really, really straight. So I'm gonna go in and just start my small line from the top. Bring it to the middle and then same thing from the top or the side of the nail meet in the middle just like that and then we're gonna go in and fill in the tip now you could just do this with your you know regular like brush like go in there and outline it and then clean it up but it's just a lot easier for me to do it with the small nail art brush Alrighty, so as you can see, I did get a little bit um, right there. So I'm just going to go in and just wipe that off. And then also clean around your cuticle area. And I'm just going to fix that with the same uh, nail art brush. Okay. Alrighty, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and place them under the light for 30 seconds.
Alrighty, so we cured those. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foil on this one. So you guys know that I went in and applied the foil gel. So I'm just gonna go in and just dab. I forgot where I placed the foil at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just randomly stick the foil on there. And it's only gonna stick to the foil glue. So just like that. We don't want too much. We just wanna add a little bit of foil in there. So next, I'm gonna go in and just do a really thin second coat of um, this white to make sure that we have a good coverage. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this hand back under the light for another 30 seconds so that finger can dry. Alrighty, so that is dry. Okay, so we cured this one, and then this one, as you can see, is completely dry. I can rub on it, and it's not going anywhere. Um, so that's what I mean, that your regular nail polish has to be 100% dry. It's not sticky. When I rub it, and I'm rubbing kind of hard, it's not doing anything. So when you're doing them, you have to make sure you let them um, just dry. As you've seen, I didn't use any fan. The nail light won't do anything to your regular nail polish, so we just have to let it air dry. And that's why I say to make sure that you use colors that are not too thick because then it's going to take a lot longer to dry um so now we're going to go in and apply some bling and i'm going to show you how i apply it which is really simple uh, but i'm going to be using the soleil nail adhesive which i've been using for a while and i absolutely love it my bling stays on really really good the only problem is that it's so hard to you know keep from getting glue on the neck of the bottle because they become so hard to open um every now and then i get a pair of nippers and just kind of take all of this off but it gets right back like messed up again but you just have to be careful so for my bling i'm using my abs 6 and ss12 these are the same ones that will be on my website as you can see they're really shiny um so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the glue and again this is the soleil nail adhesive and i just apply a little bit around the cuticle area and down to the right of the right side of the nail and with my wax pencil i start with a ss12 right in the middle closer to the cuticle area and then i go in with a ss6 and then a ss12 ss6 and as you can see i kind of just fill in the gaps as i go um you just don't want to have any big gaps in between your bling so that's why i always say to use two different sizes because if not you will be able to see some big gaps in between your bling so um that's really all i do as you can see it's really nice and simple just apply the glue uh, uh, start with my bigger one which is the ss12 and then the ss6 and then it you just you know fill in the gaps as you go and for me starting on this side is just really a habit you know you can start this way or down the middle it really does not matter but of course as long as you're filling in the gaps as you go so um as you can see now i'm kind of running out of glue so i'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more but just apply your glue as you need it don't go ahead and apply it on the entire nail because then it's going to dry up so just apply a little bit at a time as you go let's see so i'm applying the smaller ones around the tip and you'll be able to know like 
for me sometimes as you can see like i applied the smaller ones at the tip because of course you know a big one like an ss tool would be too big um so just you know kind of use your judgment to know which one you need to add or what size you need to add and that's really all i do when it comes to my bling again that's the soleil nail adhesive you can find it on her website i'll be sure to leave it down for down below for you guys Alrighty, so just like that really shiny and so pretty so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this up and then I'm gonna spray that bling now with the hurry up spray I bought this on Amazon and it works really good the only thing is that you have to make sure that you spray it at the very end when you're done with both hands because if not it's gonna dry up your glue as you apply it like y'all that time that I was applying it on one of my clients for the first time it's like I was applying it like as I did each finger and I guess it got on the rest of the nails so as I was applying the glue like the glue would literally dry as soon as I applied it so again make sure that you spray that at the very end but now that we're completely done, we're going to go ahead and apply the um, Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat. Now, with this top coat, since it is a no wipe top coat, you um, don't have to wipe anything off. It's not going to leave a sticky residue or anything. So you just apply it, cure it, and that's all. So again, we're going to go ahead and apply this on all of the nails. And then after this, we're going to let them cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so I applied the top coat on all of them and now I'm going to let them cure for 60 seconds.
professionals. Again, you can find details at Little Rock. Alrighty, y'all. So here is. Alrighty, y'all. So here is the final look. As you can see, they all turned out really, really pretty. So again, in this video, we learned how to apply the bling, how to do the white and black marble, how to do an ombre with regular nail polish and a gel top coat, how to do a French tip with gel polish, and how to do a marble with a little bit of foil in there. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNo32. And I will see you guys next time.